Hey guys, this is Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights. I'm back here with an unboxing of three Diamond Art Club diamond paintings. I'm excited to show these to you. So I mentioned it in another video, but I do have, kind of have an idea of doing a witch fest in October where it kind of could co coincide with drills and chills, but that we would do witch paintings that could be drills and chills and witch fest. I think it would be a really fun to thing for October. And I just love cutesy witches. I love Halloween, the the fun Halloween. I'm, I'm not really like a gory, icky Halloween person, but I love fun candy, cute witches, pumpkins, dragons, Randy Spangler, cute, all that stuff. So these are three paintings from Diamond Art Club that I picked up to work on throughout the year. This one is The Good Witch, which I am, I think I'm gonna do in August with the Oz event that I've seen going around. And this is The Beekeeper Witch by Erica Wiseman Izzy. And this is Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble by Randy Spingler. I was gonna do this for the Hannah Lynn along, but when I saw there was an Oz, I was like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Glenda the Good Witch. So let's get into these pieces and I will show you the round kit versus the square kit that comes with these. And then we'll go through each one individually, look at the canvas, see the drills and where they go and talk about maybe where are some things that we could add as enhancements. That's kind of one thing that I'd like to do in the, in the unboxings that just might be a little bit different because I know there's lots of unboxings. So anyways, stick around and let's get into it. So these are the two different toolkits that you get. As you can see, there is a round kit and a square kit. Funny, I was thinking the round kit would have a circle around it and the square, a square, but nope, they're both squares, but this is round. And let's look at the contents in these bags. I'm just going to pull them out. So as you can see, they're basically the same kits, except for that the square comes with some tweezers. These are the tweezers that will stab your eye out. So be very careful with them. Don't let your toddlers get them and don't poke yourself because I've hurt myself with them. So then you do just get a standard blue pen with your one placer tip. And then you do have a four placer um, that you can add to this pen or you can put it in your own pen. You have a nice little soft grip and two things of wax. A little boat to, to work on your piece. And then about 15 baggies. So not quite enough to kit up completely, but definitely helps with long-term storage. And um, you can always work on certain sections if it's not confetti, <laughs> if you're color blocking. So these are the kits. Now I'm gonna get into the, uh, the individual paintings. So the first one we're gonna look at is Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble by Randy Spingler. It is a 22 by 25 or 56 by 64. This is a round and it comes with this sticker sheet and then this small sticker you can put in the box or your journal or however you'd like to use it to organize. There are 49 colors in this. So the first thing I noticed when I was pulling these out was I was like, did they forget to put the diamonds in this kit? But I think it's because I've been doing squares and circle diamonds are so much lighter. So of course you get your little instructions. And let's look at this cute painting. So I know this is not an exact square, <laughs> but it is kind of fun to be working on something that is more square because a lot of them are just very rectangular and yeah, this will be really fun. This seems like a really fun Halloween time piece. You can see, I think it's very light, but I have seen this done and the diamonds do actually make this look very vibrant. So let's get into 
the drill. So I'm just starting in around the place. But it does look like we have 977, 317, 141, this brilliant iridescent off white, 301, 3776, 134, which is this beautiful green. <laughs> I'm excited for green maybe. 895, 300, 400, 904, 321, 890, 3855, 905, 741, 413, 743, 334, 938, and 310. Three three seven one, three twelve, thirty seven fifty five, eight oh three, seven forty, three seven nine nine, nine forty seven, three twenty two, and nine thirty nine. We've got eight forty one, three eight two three, seven ninety six, nine oh seven. 498, 414, 640, 797, 318, 333, 3787, 742, 844, 415, 3746, 3854, 155, 165, 3782, and 210. So that's a rather fast go through of the drills so i'm really challenged and i have to refilm this but i was talking about with ab's because i actually filmed this off the camera because i'm that challenged but it does look like the ab's are going to be first off in these dragons their green skin is going to have quite a lot of accents of green um ab sparkle and then they will have some white ab sparkle there is also white at the bottom of the fire and then the steam tendrils that are coming up. So I do think that is going to be really pretty. I do think it might be fun to add some ABs in the fire right here and also in the bubbling potion, just a little sparkle here and there. I do think that the moon could have something fun going on there and but overall i think this is just going to be a really fun thing to do around halloween also i just have to say the reason that i was including this piece in with the witch fest is because these dragons are wearing witch hats which i thought was really cute so in the other randy spanglers they're not quite wearing witch hats they're just to have dragon heads and so this one really I was like okay this is cute it can go with witch fest. The next one is Beekeeper Witch by Erica Wiseman Izzy. It is a 22 by 22 or 56 by 56. It is a square and it is round so it's a square painting but round diamonds. There are 35 colors with two ABs and then you have your little sticker you can put on your box or journal and then your guides that I always put on my storage containers. The painting itself is really cute. I think she looks like a really fun summery kind of witch that might be fun to do in kind of like July-ish time. Anyway, just I don't know if any of you guys like kind of plan out your year of what kind of crafts and stuff you want to do. I just like doing that. I like planning. So let's look at these drills. random bag. We've got 445, 
3824, 1140, that's vibrant orange, 414, 3341, 318, 743, 385, there's two of those, 947, 3756, 132, that's nice, gold, orange, <laughs> sparkle, and 775. So we've got 775, 775, so three bags in total. 742, 3325, 3841, two of those, and then 3755. With our smaller drills, we do have 3340, 606, 762, 3799. 129, which is our other AB, this, this nice yellow. 498, 3733, 310, such a tiny amount of 310. 780, 782, 3830, and 783. Okay, so overall, I think this is just a really cute, fun piece. The ABs, it looks like, are mostly in her hair. You can see twos in here. Let me like pull, pull it up for you. You can see twos and ones. The ones are the lighter areas, the twos. It does look like she has ABs in this sunflower on her hat. And then there is some in this honey jar. Honey. And then there, I think there's, there are some on the bees. So as far as adding anything additional to this, I don't know that there necessarily needs to be anything. I could definitely see adding some red ABs to her hair or to her hat. I don't know if I would add maybe some really, really light blue to the sky to kind of bring some sharp, some sparkle, but this one I think is pretty cute as is. So I might just leave it. So this is Good Witch by Hannah Lynn. It's the, you can tell it's Glenda the Good Witch because she does have like the Good Witch of the, the North. And there, this is a 22 by 31 inch or 56 by 79 centimeter. It is a square and there are 47 colors with three ABs. So let's get into this canvas. This is a new release. Um, I'm not sure when it came out because I don't remember seeing it on their Instagram, but it is listed as a new release on Diamond Art Club. It does come with the instruction manual, the square tool kit, and the diamonds. And all I'm putting this is looking so vibrant. I just rolled this up for you guys. You can see it. Oh, she is so pretty. I am so excited to be looking at her. I'm like afraid to move this tripod at all because I've been having such problems with it in this, this filming and it keeps collapsing on me. But she is going to just be gorgeous. I love the vibrant red and then just rainbow of colors. So let's look at this grow and man square drills are so much heavier i'm wondering if that's because they just i think you get more more space covered because they connect and lift it off go down okay so first off we have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 bags of 310. That's going to be a lot of black. <laughs> Two bags of 321. 742. 993 with a little red that tried to visit. Not social distancing, as Miss Poppy would say. 3815. 353. And 3824. I'm like looking at, I, oh, okay, there is a little bit darker. I'm, I'm looking at these on the camera, I can see it, but in real life, I'm thinking they look almost the same. 
So it looks like there is actually 11 bags of Phase 1 because there is another bag right here. 743, two of these, 991, and 356. Then we have a 3830, 66, 893, 758, 433, 129, which is one of our ABs, pretty iridescent, 814, 700. 133, another one of our ABs in orange. 336, 798, 7 8 9 4 and 597 so i love there is just like every color of the rainbow in this painting i think that was going to be so fun i think this is super cute there's like little elves there in there or dwarves in their little house this is going to be such a fun one to do i cannot wait for august to start working on this I do think that I will be adding ABs to the red. I think gorgeous sparkling ABs in the red just can make a painting come so much more to life. But let's look and see where the ABs go. So first off, we have the number one, which is going to be in her hair. Some of these light highlights, you can kind of see. There's going to be some up here. I keep, it's, I go too high for the camera. So definitely some up here. And then there is some in the highlights of her dress. So as far as the number two goes, it looks like it is part of the yellow brick road. I'm assuming this is supposed to be. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of thought this looked more like a snake than in a, than the yellow brick road, but it works. You know it's the yellow brick road because it's Glenda the Good Witch. But you can kind of see the orange tones along the road are all that AB, and then there's a little bit in her dress. As far as the number three, there's a little bit in her corset, you can see, and then there's definitely some in the the trees, the background, and definitely there's some on her eyeshadow, if you can see that. And then up here by the rainbow, there's a lot of them. There is a little bit in her hair over here. So overall, I think this is going to be just a very gorgeous, I might put some blue ABs in her eyes to kind of bring that out. I probably will add a little, like I said, some ABs to the red. And I think there definitely could be some ABs in this end because she's kind of like holding it, you know, like post. It should be so shiny. But I will have to evaluate some more. I do think it'd be fun to put some ABs in her star necklace. And it's always fun to make the lips an AB you know just to add a little bit of sparkle but we will see so um thank you for watching you've made it this far in the video and um if you liked the video subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other diamond painting or craft related videos and i will see you guys in another one